Using TCP dump syntax, you can packet capture just about any traffic that travels on your FortiGate using the diagnose sniffer packet. So let's look at some of the best filters using the diag sniffer packet. All right, so to capture packets on your 48 on the different interfaces, different ports, different protocols, the syntax goes like that. Diag sniffer packet, and that's the basic, the default syntax. Now, from here, you can choose your interfaces. You can choose either port 1 or any interface. Let's choose any interface. And you can filter the traffic. Now, filtering the traffic can be on the specific port traffic, protocols, source, destinations, uh, packet size. You can use um, combinations such as OR, AND. You can do just about anything. We will do it very soon. All right, so the, following the filter, you have the verbosity level. So let's now choose none for the filter and let's choose the uh, different verbosity levels. So there are actually four verbosity levels on 40 OS 7 and 6.4 and 6.2. Let's choose the first one. You will see the different related output. Now, following that, you can choose the amount of packets. So let's just choose 10 packets. And you can also play around with the timing of the uh, capture itself. All right, so let's uh, press enter. And here we have 10 packets uh, showing uh, the IP headers, showing the protocol. And you can also see the different flags, the TCP flags, the sequence number, and so on. So let's do the same now, just uh, change it to verbosity level two. In verbosity level two, you have actually the hex representation of the IP packet. There it is. And you also have the ASCII representation. All right, so now let's just use verbosity three. And here you also have the ethernet um, uh, headers also in hexadecimal and now let's choose verbosity 4 and in verbosity 4 you also have let's just stop that very very similar to verbosity 1 but you have the interface name so here verbosity 4 you have the interface name and in verbosity 1 there's no interface name. All right, so that was the very basic. Now let's start to use filters. The first one is to capture traffic that is happening on port 80. So if you want to capture specific traffic to specific ports, use the port and the number. All right, so let's just use that. And we can see that we are having traffic that is destined or coming from port 80. All right, the next filter is host. If you wish to capture specific traffic from a specific host, you will use the host keyword and the IP address. So in my case, I have a Ubuntu device, which is at the 10.0.5.7. And let's press enter and I'm seeing traffic that is coming from 10.0.5.7 or traffic that is destined to 10.0.5.7. If I need to um, filter out specific sources or destination, I can use the source keyword 10.0.5.7. So that is traffic that is coming from that specific source. And if I need specific destination traffic, so I can use DST and let's choose my gateway 192.168.11 and let's look at that traffic. So I'm not seeing any traffic that is coming to my gateway. So let's use another 
IP address. Let's use the 10.0.5.1. All right, now if we want to capture different um, protocols, we can use the name of the protocol on the um, filter. So if we want to catch the R protocol, so we will actually write down ARP and we can see different ARP traffic. If we want to catch, let's just see if we have ICMP, then we can see, yep, that we have different ICMP packets that are traveling. And if we want to catch TCP protocol, we can just write down TCP. All right, now at the beginning, we have actually said that we can capture specific uh, port traffic. We can also catch port range traffic. That is uh, traffic that is in the, um, let's assume that we have port 80 up to port 443. So to do so, we will use port range. And we will list the um the traffic that is traffic that is coming from port 80 to port 443 and there we have it all right now if we want to catch traffic that is uh in terms of packet size less than or greater than we can also use uh that expression in our packet capture that is very similar to uh, tcp dump so we can use less than 64 and we will catch traffic that its packet size is less than 64 bytes if we want to catch traffic that is less than 32 bytes we will write down less than 32 bytes and the last thing is when we want to use combinations that is and or so let's catch tcp traffic to a specific destination port by using and and let's do source 10.0.5.7 and destination port 80 and let's use verbosity tree with a packet count of 10 packets All right, so we can see that we have traffic that is destined to port 80. We, since we're using verbosity tree, we can also see the different hexadecimal representation of the packets themselves.